everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Heather thank you so much for stopping by today today we are going to do a very simple video and it's just to do a bookshelf challenge this is my new bookshelf if you don't remember in one of my previous videos I told you that my big bookshelf that usually was along this wall decided to fall down off the wall and all of my books fell my computer got smashed it was a big old whole, whole ordeal so I ordered this one I have another one coming in soon one that came in was damaged so I had to send it back and then also my other pretty bookshelf right here where I usually sit with like the bench and everything um, it decided to fall off the wall too <laughs> so behind me is a little messy but I went ahead and put some books up here on the shelf there's another shelf all the way up here um, I don't know if I'm going to use that one because you can't see it, but then there's another shelf down here too. Maybe I'll just use these three shelves so because you can actually see these books, sort of. But we'll do that. It's a very easy challenge. If you want to, if you want to try it out too, I'll put all the like the challenge things below just to see if you have books on your shelf like that. Um, I don't know where this originally started because I just went online and literally looked for challenges online. The challenge was made in 2018, so it's a little, it's a little old. But the first challenge, or the first, yeah, the first challenge is to find a book with a pink cover. So here is my romance shelf. I'm going to put this one. So this one is the Happily Ever After playlist by Adam Jimenez. And I know that it's a romance book. It's a contemporary romance. I also know that it's about a chick named Salone who loses her fiance and then she ends up she ends up meeting Jason and it's about Tucker the dog. Not Tucker the dude, but Tucker the dog, and she's trying to figure out if she can survive the heartache that she's been through. So I've heard that this is a really good book, I just haven't gotten to it yet. I haven't really been in a romance like I really been re wanting to read romance lately or a suspense romance the other day and you know, I really enjoyed it but I haven't like wanted to read an actual contemporary romance in a while so there's that okay the next one a book about animals Ooh. I don't know if I have that mm, oh I do I bunny oh there's another pink look it's been, okay bunny by Mona Wad if you don't know what this is I have a hard time explaining this book without spoiling, spoiling it, spoiling it, spoiling it for you, but just know that it's kind of like a cross between the craft and Heather's. It's about this um, chick named Samantha who gets a scholarship at a prestigious school and she notices like a group of girls that roam around and they're, uh, they only talk to them, but like the talk to their group and no one else and they are rich and they call each other bunny and then they invite her Samantha to be in their group and then weird things start happening and the reason I picked it out is because you know bunny and bunnies are a big part of the story so yeah there's that and I did read this and I ended up giving it four stars and I really enjoyed it it's a horror spectacle that kind of thing it's 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 interesting <laughs> it was a fun ride it was a quick read too I didn't know if I was gonna like it but you know a nonfiction book that you've read okay I actually have to go up to my top shelf oh no no I have In Cold Blood by Truman Capote and this is about there's a sticker Okay. This is about a murder in Kansas and the per or the people that have been murdered were murdered by shotgun blasts. Like a sh somebody shot them with a shotgun and Truman Capote reconstructs the murder and the investigation. So it's loosely based off well it's it's a true crime book, but it's really, really good. Um I really enjoyed this. This was one of the first true crime books that I actually read. And I ended up watching the Truman Capote movie as well. And I've watched many, many documentaries about Truman Capote. And I really like this book. 
So if you like true crime and all that, I think you would really like this. A book with flowers on the cover. Let's do this one. It's a lot of um, thrillers, except one. <laughs> uh, so the Daughters of Foxcote Manor by Eve Chase. I read this book a while ago. This was in one of my uh, videos about once upon a book club, I, and I did a whole vlog about this. I'll, if I remember, I'll link it below. But this is about a nanny named Rita, and she goes and moves in with this family. Um, and she finds mysterious things going on with the family, and a tragedy that sh tragedy that strikes. And decades later, another person named Sylvie has some holes like she tries to patch up some holes in her family we go back and forth in this book and it was just one of those books that I found that was it, it was it wasn't a scary thriller it was more of like a mystery based thriller and it had a lot of family values to it and Sylvie finally gets to find out what happened to her family and what was going on at that time so I really enjoyed this book. I don't know if I explained this very well. I explained it a lot better in my video because this I, I mean I enjoyed it, but it's kind of one of those books that I haven't thought about in a while. But just know it's mystery thriller. So if you haven't checked it out, check it out. It's rather it's rather good. A book that reminds you of fall. Let's see. Ooh, I remember it. No, good Lord have mercy. Ugh. Okay. Almost pull over. You probably saw that. So this is another th thriller, but this is more of a crime-based thriller. And it is called Killing Kate. Obviously, there's a serial killer going around, and he is fascinated with Kate. And anybody that's in Kate's way, he is fascinated with them, too. So she, this this chick Kate, she returns to her family's like village. Uh, I can't remember where she is located. I believe it's somewhere in Europe. Anyways, she returns from a breakup and she just wants to go back to her hometown to feel safe. And she becomes convinced that she's being watched and even followed. She changes her appearance even. And it still doesn't go away and we follow her and we also follow the killer themselves and it is really freaking good like I really really like this book it was so good but it kind of jumps in time a little bit too and I just I just really enjoyed it um, this was one of the books that like I've always liked thrillers but this is one of the books that I've read in the past couple of years that got me into really 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 enjoying thrillers again so serial killer mystery reading from serial killer's perspective and also our main character's, per character's perspective so check it out it's really really good a book you read in one day don't have a lot of my romance books up here. I would choose one of those because that's one of the ones that I read in one day. Let's see. I'll just go ahead and choose this. Oh my god, I want to end up falling. I've read this in one day multiple times. <laughs> okay, um, this is Neighbors by Stylo and Tommy. It is a romance book it has a lot of angst in it it is about this girl named Katia and she moves into this new apartment building with her friend and she meets a guy that owns a sex club and she ends up going to the sex club but then she also meets another guy and she doesn't know who she wants to be with so it's kind of like a love triangle but it's not like one of those love triangles that gets on your nerves it's very entertaining she's funny both of the guys are funny one of them's kind of a douche but it's 
I think it's a good look and it's one of those books that I always go back to when I'm in a reading slump especially if I want romance and I've read it like five or six times already since I've had it so there you go a classic you won't need to read I don't have a lot of classics on my bookshelf at the moment um so let's pick one that people talk about constantly like all the time. Well, I like that one. I've never read it before. I haven't read it. Um, so this is Invisible Man. I know that this is a classic. I haven't read it. I want to read it eventually. And it's about a man that wants to stay hidden. It has a lot of racism from what I've heard. It He just has... And it says, as he journeys from the deep south to the streets and basements of Harlem from um, horrifying battle royale where black men are reduced to fighting animals to a communist rally where they are elevated to status of trophies. Rapper Ralph Ellis's nameless protagonist ushers readers into a parallel universe that throws our own into harsh and even hilarious relief. So this is supposed to be suspenseful. So, it's about a black man who is trying to get away from the South. Hopefully. I hope I didn't just ruin that, but I know that it is a classic, and I want to read it. So, a book with pretty typography. I don't really care about that. Um, I like this, and then I like this too. I like the glowiness of The Diviners by Libby, by Libby Bray. This is also another book that I haven't read, but I like the glowiness of it. I also like the font in this one, I like how it's cursive. I don't know. I like cursive font. Those are two of the books. This is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, and I read this last year. It's about a girl that wants to solve a mystery at the school that she is at. So there's that. In a book with a map on it. Oh, Lord. Um, I don't know if I have that. You have a map? You have a map? You have a map? You? No. Maybe this one a map. There. Um, map, 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 map. No map. I honestly don't know if I have a perfect map on it. It's gonna take me a second. It's gonna take me a second to find. New. New. Back in map. No. It's the wicker. Can you have a map? Huh. I'm gonna cheat. Because I really don't feel like looking through all my books. I would say that this is kind of mappy. Like it has a little like mirror. Has a little. Would you consider that a map? Can you see it? It has like little drawings on it. We'll say that. I'm just going to say The Wicker King by Kay Ancrum. I, ha Ancrum. I haven't read this book yet either. I just know that it's kind of like science fiction-y. He's going a little crazy. Or not crazy. He's going a little insane. And as his mental illness progresses, so do the pages. They get darker and darker. So I thought that was cool. I haven't read it yet, but. Oh, see, I could have even looked inside, but I already picked my book. So what book are you dying to read ASAP? All of these books, because all of these books are mostly unread. This is my unread bookshelf. All my read books are pretty much downstairs or over there on the floor where they've been for forever. I really have been wanting to read He Said, She Said, but I just haven't had time to read it. So this is another thriller. I've also really been wanting to pick up, where is it? Oh. Undercover Bromance, these two because I really, really liked the Bromance Book Club and I haven't gotten to these two sequels yet. I really wanted to read those. So, let's put those back. Maybe we'll just 
just leave them right here and I'll fix them later. And that is that. So I think I, I think I, I think I have a pretty good stuff here. Again, most of them are thrillers. Most of them are thrillers, but you know, that's what I've been wanting to read lately. I'm gonna put you over here. It's getting a little dark over there. So that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a very chill, sit down, kind of goofy. Um, why am I looking at that? A goofy video, but I just wanted, like I said, I just wanted to do something to ease my way back into the YouTube, YouTubeness. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not done so already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know what you want to see later on. And yeah, so I'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.